Good morning from the road. We are heading from point A to point B. It's a beautiful fall day and uh, along the way we'll be stopping at camp and I'm going to bring you guys with me. So we'll be camping overnight at one of my favorite places. It's been a busy last week but I have a lot to catch up on with you. So we'll do that at camp. I'm all settled in here at camp and as you've seen by now I'm at the Tuttle Creek campground. It is a BLM campground but there is a fee it's ten dollars per night. It is very near the Alabama Hills which I would have preferred to camp in the Alabama Hills dispersed camping area. However they are doing some major construction on Whitney Portal Road so I actually had to take a detour to come in here and I don't know what's available there. I think you have to take a long route in and and I'm just here overnight, so I didn't want to go to too much hassle. I wanted it to be as easy as possible. This campground is much busier than I would have thought it would have been, especially this time of year. It is the very beginning of fall. It's a Tuesday, but I think because of what's going on over at the Alabama Hills with the construction and what have you, I think there's some flood damage that a lot of people are coming here. So if you hear noise i have campers around me cars are going back and forth so it's not quite as uh peaceful as i thought it might be but it's still very beautiful it's a stunning day it doesn't really feel very fall like it's in the low 70s but there's really no breeze so right now it's feeling quite warm so there's a little bit to catch up on last time you saw me i was in the sawtooth mountains of idaho i had an absolutely amazing time there a wonderful backpacking trip a three night four day trip with my friends the reeves and my friend martina it was pretty awesome. I opted to go ahead and fly in because I had a place with family where I could leave the trailer in California. The airfare that I found was very affordable uh, and it's only a couple hour flight from Burbank, California, which is where I flew out of. It probably would have cost me much more in gas to take the trailer there and it is uh, starting to be wind very winter-like in that region of the country. So I didn't want to take the trailer up just to haul it back somewhere with a more temperate climate. Uh, so it just didn't really make sense. And I went ahead and flew and uh, that was kind of a cool experience. It made it feel a little bit more like a vacation. <laughs> I did miss having my trailer, especially when we came off the trail a day early and we didn't have any lodging set up and it was gonna be very cold overnight. We didn't want to camp. And I just thought, well, if my trailer was here, I could just go home, but we got it all worked out and it was absolutely awesome. If you missed that trip, I'm gonna go ahead and link it below. So make sure you check it out because it was really, really stunning. 
And one other reason I decided to leave my rig in California is because we were having a little bit of a family reunion of sorts, part of the family, and we actually drove up to the Eastern Sierra and we were checking out the fall color. One of my sisters, my oldest sister, although she was born and raised in Southern California and has lived in California, all her life up until the last couple of years where she moved to Virginia and now Utah, she had never been up to the Eastern Sierra. So we hopped in a couple of cars and caravaned up and we got to see some fall color. I really didn't take many pictures because I was driving, uh, so I don't really have anything to show you. I'm gonna ask her if it's okay if I show you some of hers. And if she says it is, I'll go ahead and insert them here. There was actually a winter storm passing through during that weekend. We got snowed on a little bit up towards the Rock Creek area. They had got a dusting of snow the prior evening. And then after we left, the afternoon after we left, they got a little bit of a dumping of snow. So it was a, a early season winter storm and uh, it made for a very beautiful scenery up there. So where am I headed to right now? I am headed up to meet a friend in Yosemite and I will be doing a backpacking trip in Yosemite that I have never done before. I've never backpacked in Yosemite, to be honest with you. I've gone into the valley and explored and done some little hikes around the Tuolumne Meadows area. However, I've never actually done a backpacking trip and this is going to be pretty freaking cool. <laughs> it's one I've wanted to do for a while. The person that will be joining me has done a backpacking trip in this area before and I happened to see one of their videos of this area and so we're going to do this together and it's pretty exciting. I'm very very excited for it. So when I leave here tomorrow I'll be heading up in that direction. So for today, we will just be going ahead and hanging out here at camp. I might run into town because I forgot to bring firewood. So I might go run in there and grab some firewood so I can have a fire here tonight. I've got a nice dinner planned for this evening. I'll be cooking it in a new apparatus that I have not used on this channel before and I've never used before at all. <laughs> so this will be a first time for me using it and uh, we'll see how it all turns out. But yeah, it'll be a nice day here at camp and I'm looking forward to having kind of a restful day, a restful evening before a long trip coming up. I need to come clean guys. I forgot to take my AG1 this morning. But the great thing is you can take AG1 any time of day and I find it a great pick me up in the afternoon when I'm needing a little extra boost of energy just like today. With AG1 all you have to do is mix one scoop with eight ounces of cold water and shake. That's the foundational nutrition you need with the convenience your life demands. AG1 combines 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients to support optimal health of the brain, body, and gut. Honestly, I really love the taste as well and it makes it much easier to take every day. It's a once a day habit made easy. They've worked hard for AG1's taste, all without compromising the formula. They're so passionate about how AG1 tastes that their founder personally taste tests every batch and they never use any artificial sweeteners, added sugar, or hidden ingredients. Pretty awesome if you ask me. I knew something felt off and I think my body craves this stuff. <laughs> That's how I knew it was time to take it because my body was telling me it was time for my daily dose of AG1. If you'd like to get some for yourself and get that amazing feeling that I do on a daily basis, go ahead and click that link below and they will send you a year supply of vitamin D and five travel packs for free with your first purchase just for trying it out. I'm absolutely hooked on this magic green elixir and I think you will be too. Thank you once again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. Lunch today is just a simple deli meat sandwich.
Okay, I'm going to head into town, which is Lone Pine, to see if I can find some firewood. This is actually very cool. I've never been on this road. It's Tuttle Creek Road. It's a detour to the Mount Whitney Portal Road and it's really cool. Steep and narrow, so it's best without the trailer. The grocery store was out of firewood, but I was in luck because the hardware store across the street did have some and he said it's hardwood, so it's going to burn for a long time. By the way, I created an entire video on the topic of the town of Lone Pine that I will link below. I find it to be one of the most interesting towns, small towns in America. So if you wanna check that out, click that link below. I did not expect to film so much of that road and that drive. However, it was awesome with all the boulders, the beautiful fall color that was in there, the views of the mountains, the formations. It was just incredible. I believe there are no mistakes and I was meant to take that detour. This is what we've got going on for dinner tonight. We have got a yellow pepper. We've got grape tomatoes, some turkey sausage, some broccoli, and some potatoes. This is all going to be mixed together and roasted, and I'll show you how I'm going to roast that. I'm gonna be roasting in this bad boy this evening. I have never used one before. I had a brief lesson from my sister, and uh, we'll see how this goes. It could go terribly wrong, but maybe it won't. My neighbors have been cranking some Santana. I don't normally like hearing other people's music while I'm in camp, but at least they chose a good band. The tomatoes I will roast whole, and uh, I'm just gonna make enough for one serving. So I don't need to go crazy.
My sister suggested cooking the potatoes first for a little bit because they'll take the longest. So I'm just going to season them with some olive oil, just a little oregano, garlic powder, some salt, fresh ground Himalayan salt, and some pepper. I will go ahead and mix that up well. Then I'll season all the other ingredients. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and air fry these for five minutes. And in the meantime, I'll season everything else up. Can this just be minutes? I am gonna go ahead and call this good. The potatoes could have gone a little bit longer, but if I cook it longer, everything else will be overdone. So live and learn. Next time, potatoes will go longer. It's a lot of food. I won't be able to eat all of it. Mm -mm -mm. That's very good. Got some hot tea going and dinner was fantastic. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's fantastic. Let me not go that far. <laughs> uh, I would definitely have cooked the potatoes longer and probably roasted everything overall a little longer and then put the tomatoes in towards the last few minutes. So um, it still was very tasty, flavorful, and it did the job. <laughs> Just relaxing here by the fire or trying to, this place is so busy. It's like a weekend. I'm actually pretty shocked. I've never been here when it's been this busy. I can only guess it's because I think the Alabama Hills are kind of closed off. So everybody's coming here. Um, not really my cup of tea. I like a little bit more solitude. There's I got neighbors all around, you probably hear them, but uh, that's okay, it's just one night, just an overnighter to get some rest, and as long as everyone quiets down tonight, I should be fine. I'm somewhat in the midst of trying to sort out my plans for winter. As you might recall, last winter, I was in Utah for the entire winter. <laughs> I was in a place that it was actually winter, it snowed quite a bit, and uh, yeah, there were some snow days for sure. I don't really wanna be anywhere with that much snow. In fact, I'd prefer to just visit the snow for a few days at a time and be somewhere with a little bit more temperate climate. I do have a interesting possibility on the horizon. So it could be a potential home base type situation uh, for the winter, but I will wait until I make a final decision uh, before I reveal that if it does happen. But it would be an area that would uh, allow me to visit lots of very cool locations in the winter, so we shall see.
always love sitting by a campfire and there's not many places that you can have fires here in the Sierra. Designated campgrounds is a place that you can have a fire. So I took full advantage of it and just really enjoyed the warmth and, and I just get mesmerized by a good campfire. I am inside getting ready to crawl into this bad boy and get tucked in and cozy. I'm in my jammies already. I actually had a very nice day. I will check in with you all in the morning when I will be making some breakfast before I hit the road. Top of the morning to you. It is a gorgeous morning here. Wow. <laughs> it never fails to amaze me, this area, I tell you. I slept super hard last night, super well. It's a little bit windy this morning, kind of breezy, so the trailer was moving around a little bit, but not much at all. It was very calming, quiet, and luckily my neighbors kept quiet too. It was very peaceful. I'm going to go ahead and skip breakfast this morning. I know I mentioned I'd make breakfast, uh, but I'd like to just go ahead and get on the road. Uh, I'm anxious to get to my next destination, and I've actually not been eating breakfast for the last couple of months. I've been sort of intermittent fasting, so it's not unusual for me to skip breakfast. I'll just grab some snacks and bring them up in the truck with me and get something along the way or just snack. Anyhow, I hope that you enjoy joining me on this little uh, camping adventure. It's kind of a good example of what life's like when I'm going from point A to point B. And it's a beautiful location. And it's not a bad deal. The next adventure you will see is this trip I'm about to go on, which I am so excited about. I think you are going to absolutely love it too. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate your support and I will see you on the next adventure. See you soon, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.